all right uh, hello everybody and welcome to uh, this live market analysis it is nice to uh, have all of you here uh, our trading is going to begin uh, full time uh, the market has been uh, a bit very violent and so we are we took uh, our decision to sit on the sideline while we study how the market reacts to the global uh, con uh, to the current uh, pandemic a global pandemic uh, causing some economic crisis and uh, the forex market has been moving in such a volatile uh, 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 action okay uh, so we are going to look into uh, the charts very few price to see uh, what we can uh, actually uh, get from them okay right before we do that let's move into the forex factory economic calendar to see those high impact news announcements uh, as uh, settled for yesterday yesterday was a very busy day you can see so many high impact news announcements there uh, more so that we got uh, employment data these are some of the uh, very heavy weight news announcement uh, interest rate from this telling pounds axis and again uh, President Trump uh, spoke as of yesterday so that actually um, spike the market in different directions let's see the uh, news announcement for today uh, well today we have just one high impact news announcement coming from the Canadian dollar axis uh, the order is uh, an all-day bank holiday coming from uh, Japan from from Japan uh, which will be affecting all Japanese yen across is um, not really much in, on the forex factory economic calendar except that uh, the coronavirus uh, pandemic is causing a lot of troubles uh, globally so let's just look into the charts and analyze a few pairs all right the first pair here is the uh, euro against the american dollar this is the monthly time frame i am going to uh, zoom in this chart a bit so you can get a clearer picture of uh, our position and my analysis here well this pair has um, been sideways overall in the uh, monthly time frame it has been going sideways all right uh, moving up and down without any clear directional bias uh, our lowest low here is this level right here okay right here we had we have all the lows be behind uh, but I'm just interested in the lowest low right here so I'm going to draw that level as my level of uh, my key level of support so let me just uh, keep that Okay, that's it. All right, so that's uh, the most uh, important uh, level of support right now. This level right here. Um, the uh, other level of resistance in the monthly time frame is this one right here. But that is too uh, far. All right, it is too far right now from current uh, uh, price. But again, if you look deeply into the charts, you will see how price has been finding. A particular area as support right there okay found it right there again as support uh came right here okay found resistance right here uh again somewhere around in here as of this current candle it found resistance so that's a key level that we have to keep uh because price has respected that level many times we just have to keep that level as a point of reference so i'm going to keep that level right here okay it's an area uh we're just going to maintain that all right going back this okay so that's it uh, this is another key level right here of resistance right now you can see how price just uh, tried to push a broke it was resisted and it kept uh, pushing to the downside now let's move into the uh, weekly time frame in the monthly time frame this is uh uh, absolutely all nothing much to uh, uh, draw here let's see the weekly time frame in the weekly time frame I was actually looking at um, a, a kind of um, expanding triangle all right I was looking at an expanding triangle that uh, price was uh, in this type of behavior okay in that type of behavior and you can see very clearly the price is now pushing below that level so that that doesn't really matter now that doesn't hold price anymore okay it is um invalid at this time so on the weekly time frame we're just going to keep our key level of um uh, support which is a, a bit difficult one to draw but let's see if we have some counter trend lines let's connect this door to this one here and this one right here um okay the counter trend line again has been taken out so we'll just uh, keep it here at the point of reference let me change that to blue I keep it within the weekly all right 
that counter trend line here uh, this bounce right here another bounce there then price respected it respected it right there again now we are getting the breakout of that counter trend line so we are going to keep that level to uh, see if that breakout is going to be sustained what a price is going to keep pushing uh, below that a trend that a counter trend line or it's going to uh, come back up to make a fake breakout so let's just watch and see what's what happened there in the daily time frame uh, like we have established price is actually trading below uh, the counter trend line that we drew in the weekly time frame um, well we still have this level here which can be which is of course uh, previous level of uh, support if price comes back up it's going to be finding resistance around that level so we'll just mark that in daily time frame and I'm going to use um, red level a red line to do that let me change that color to red okay daily time frame a red color okay okay so let's just keep that low keep it right here this is the low that will be all right so price is currently trading below that those areas of uh, former support all right former support if price goes back up uh, to that zone it should be facing resistance okay should be facing resistance all right so let's move into the uh, forest time frame forest time frame what do we have we have a nice trend to the downside price has been uh, zigzag into the downside in the forest time frame it is still bearish we are just going to keep our outer trend line let's take that from that point uh, right here that's our outer trend line forest time frame all right so as it is uh, the euro against the american dollar is still very bearish it is to the downside okay it is uh, optimally to the downside but then it is uh, facing the monthly level of support which is this level right here uh, anything can happen around this area okay um, in the one hour time frame well uh, this trend is still there I actually missed a trade here but I didn't take the trade because it was trading around those areas of support uh, the trade is this we got that um, kind of a flat bottom triangle all right price broke to the downside that was breakout this was the uh, pullback and from there on you can see price uh, crashing to the downside well I'm not worried I just uh, hold on until we find a better trading opportunity so for now the um, euro against the American dollar is still bearish to go short we need some pullback all right we need price to make some pullback then it bounce uh, for us we we'll keep following if we find any valid entry we will definitely let uh, members of the uh, VIP channel know about our entries the next one is the American dollar against the Swiss franc which is a similar one to the euro against the American dollar uh, as you can see if I zoom in my chart we also have uh, those areas of resistance right it's an area of resistance so we are just going to mark those levels uh, like this okay mark that level change the color to pink or magenta as it is all right we also have this level here as spots okay and i guess that's uh, exactly where price went to react let's just mark that one all right you can see right to the pit price confirmed that level right here reacted off that level uh, right to the pip so this is a confirmed level of support uh, anything else in the monthly time frame uh, nothing else is significant so let's move into the weekly time frame in the weekly time frame uh, what do we see you can see how price um, was has been trending to the downside uh, even though the trend is being violated right now we can keep this level it is actually being violated right now let's just keep that level um, this is not really a strong level to me anymore but we can keep it as a point of resistance okay so um, the American dollar against the Swiss franc is actually trading against that weak level of resistance uh, so we'll just keep that and nothing much to draw again in this chart uh, just adjust my level okay. in the daily time frame what do we have we got um, this higher swing high right here this level right here so we're just going to keep a level there the red line okay the American dollar against the uh, 
Swiss franc is still very bullish. Still bullish, but it might be a, it might be trading around some area of resistance. In the forward time frame, well, we got uh, a rising trend line, just like in the euro against the American dollar. You can mark that. Price is far away from the uh, trend line itself. Just going to keep that in green. Okay. So all we need to do is also to wait. All right. We need some reasonable pullback before we can uh, trade in line with that trend. For now, it is um, a little bit difficult. It's like a straight move. Quite difficult to find an entry. Uh, so you just need to be patient. Let's wait and see if we get a valid entry as um, things develop. All right, uh, nothing much. Let's look into the sterling pound against the uh, Canadian dollar. This is the monthly time frame. Well, this is quite obvious. We got a trend line here that got violated. Um, got another one to the downside. It got violated right here. Now we are in a sideways price behavior where this area has been acting as resistance and this area has been acting as support. So we're just going to mark um, those two areas. Just keep this one area um, remember we use the hinge side oracle indicator uh, over the weekend I really do not want to go into that anymore the sterling pounds against the Canadian dollar should look um, very bearish okay uh, it should come back down to this level of support that's the range this is the resistance area this is the support zone let's look into the weekly time frame In the weekly time frame um, nothing really nothing different uh, except that we got this all right so that's a level there of uh, resistance and uh, now we are going to draw that in the weekly in the daily time all right so in the daily time frame we're going to keep that area that i was talking about it is our area of um of resistance right now let me change this change that color to red all right so this is our resistance right now. We'll be looking for possible entries as price makes uh, a pullback to that area. We'll be looking for possible entries. Um, price is trading below that area right now. It's a key area of former support, now resistance. What we want to see is a pullback to that soon. Then we can look for our short entries. So let's wait for that to happen. All right. Uh, I am not saying that as soon as price comes here, you want to jump on board. No, you don't want to go short. You always want the trading strategy to tell you to go short uh, so even if we are going short we are only going to let in our VIP members know about our entries all right the uh, shorter time frame the um, four hours time frame is quite uh, choppy a bit difficult to trade I will just keep that trend line let's maintain this trend line in the four hours time frame Okay. Uh, nothing else. Nothing else. It is uh, still bearish. Nothing else. Price is bearish. All right. Finally, the selling pounds against the American dollar. This is the monthly time frame. Let me zoom in for you to see. Uh, you can see that we got um, this level here acted as support. We also got this one here as support. So we are going to connect uh, those two doors. And it seems they are being broken right now. They are terribly being broken. So we're just going to keep those two lows okay and to change that to pink all right so again you can see here that we are we got some lower highs all right lower highs so we are going to draw that as well the monthly time frame connecting that okay all right, so this is a nice one. We can see the breakout happening very nicely. That's the level of support. Support for idea, the breakout candle is a momentum bar. Uh, I am sure this bar is going to close uh, this way. So we'll be possibly looking for uh, continuation uh, formations. Let's see the uh, weekly time frame. Weekly time frame, let me zoom out the chart. Okay, nothing really, except that uh, uh, this the monthly time frame has taken care of that level of support so we don't need to repeat uh, that line now in the daily time frame again it's a straightforward uh, nothing to uh, no level of support against no level of support and resistance in the daily time frame 
uh, it is quite far at this level so we'll not want to uh, keep that level all right so uh, that's it in the uh, one hour time frame we got um, another high and this is a low a bit of an inconsistent market at any rate we'll be following this very very closely in the uh, monthly time frame okay let's see uh, what we get out of this uh, flat bottom triangle break so let's follow that in the monthly time frame uh, I think that's basic, that's essentially all that's uh, basically all in this uh, review um, if we find an entry of course we'll let uh, those uh, subscribers uh, in the VIP channel know about our entries for now uh, no entry will be triggered uh, we'll let you know in the VIP channel thanks for watching uh, if you have questions or contributions uh, feel free send them across to us uh, we'll be very happy to respond to them Thanks for being here. It's going to be a profitable trading experience in the few, in the uh, few months ahead. Okay, just be patient. Thanks again, and have a nice time. Bye bye.